So this morning I got home after work at about 6.15am Then I spent half an hour trying to cool the house down because it was still warm from yesterday's heat And eventually I climbed into bed at quarter to seven Only to be woken up again at 25 past seven to somebody howling Yeah, that's somebody, he knows Good afternoon guys, how you all doing? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? That you woke me up this morning. He doesn't normally do that. Normally I say to him, right, I'm off to bed. Remember, shh. And he's good as gold. He, he's quiet the entire time I'm in bed. But for some reason this morning he decided, no, I'm going to wake him up. So I drearily climbed out of bed, went to his room and went, now nah, then. And he's just like... <laughs> After that it was quiet, I went back to bed and funnily enough, I actually slept right through to the alarm at 1pm which was 48 minutes ago apparently according to that clock which is why I'm looking a bit haggard but yesterday, the heat, I was absolutely loving it I mean yeah, I was sat, sweating a lot <laughs> and at work was even worse apparently it was something like 39 degrees celsius inside the building that I work in so a lot of fans were blowing on us, kept going outside even though it was still warm out there. Although around, what was it, 3 o'clock in the morning or something like that, I decided to sit outside and a breeze started and I could see flashes of light in the distance. But it never came over here as far as I know. I mean, for all I know it's been thundering while I've been in bed. I have no clue. Although it is trying to rain and I've just took Carly out onto the field and I was getting hit by raindrops and I'm like ah. <laughs> but yeah it's cooled down a lot my house is still baking though let's go and have a look at what the temperature is mm, oh look 27.5 gonna have to go and open all the windows and doors later on so I can let all this heat out what I've been doing especially yesterday because it was warmer outside than inside I left all the windows and doors closed the trouble with that is once the sun gets to this side of the house at the front that sun's beaming down and the temperature of the house starts to rise so it's you know the lesser of two evils keeping all the windows and doors shut but it's a lot cooler today in fact what is it apparently it's 24 and um, the reason i say i'll open the windows and doors later is because yesterday i went to the cinema finally to go watch spider-man far from home so i've got another film to review <laughs> And as I was sat there waiting for the adverts to finish and my phone started ringing It was the camera shop telling me that my camera is ready for pickup So that's what I'm going to do in a minute Travel all the way to Chesterfield to go and get my camera And you, you can stay here and howl all you want mm. You know something, I was going to vlog with this But then I realised I forgot the card <laughs> But it's fixed, it's been repaired Let me show you Look, check it out Yay! <laughs> I think I'm not going to be putting this up too often I don't want it breaking again But it was telling me it is still better to vlog on a camcorder But the thing is, that's, you know, this bulky thing This is very compact I can put it away in my pocket, in my camera pouch I can't with this one But I'm happy I've got it back and it's working properly now So I should be able to go back to vlogging on this Beware showing me the part that was broken I could see where it had like cracked on the ribbon so that explains that I'm actually surprised at how quick I've got this back if you remember when I went to Jessup's they were saying it was going to take between six to eight weeks and that place on I think it was London Road in Sheffield that was they were saying the same thing I've got it back within a week <laughs> so if I ever have camera problems again I'm definitely coming back to this place Right, I'm gonna go home now. I wanna chill out before I have to go back to work tonight. Yeah, I've got another night shift to go. Poor Harley, watch. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> Has to skid to a halt, cause he can't get on the garden. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, every time he, I think he just forgets and as soon as he gets out of this, he's all, of that wood it just skids to a halt I've already opened up all the windows upstairs it is very very stuffy in this house 
compared to outside. And I don't know if you just heard, it's raining again. So I'm hoping that's gonna bring a cool breeze that will come through the house and cool it down. It's not fun coming home after a night shift to climb into bed and you're just sweating as soon as you lay down. Just been to the Aldi to get some food. <laughs> it's just I don't know whether to have it now or have it at work later. Something just shut. I bet it's Harley's bedroom. Let me have a look. Yep. But at least that proves there's some, well, a slight breeze coming through. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I can already feel the temperatures drop down up here. Eh, now my bedroom's still a bit warm. Hopefully it'll cool down. It's not gonna be much of a vlog today because like I say, I'm about to have some food, watch TV, then I've gotta to go to work tonight. And I'm contemplating on filming a smeg Chris later because yet again, next week, I've agreed to do 12 hours. Therefore, I'm not gonna have much time to do any filming I certainly won't tomorrow, unless I get the chance on Sunday, hmm, maybe. I really do want to do a smeg Chris. I've got a script ready and waiting. It's just a case of finding the time to film it. I would have done it today, but I had to go and fetch my camera. I am so glad I've got this back now. So I'll be vlogging back on this again, maybe even tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off now. I've got to make a decision on what I'm going to eat. I don't know. I found that I've been very indecisive today because, like I said, I went to the Aldi and I just couldn't fathom out what I wanted to get and whether I was going to eat it now or tonight and... Yeesh. Makes my brain hurt. I, I blame the heat. My brain doesn't work very well in this heat. Especially the other day, I was trying to write my Smegra script and I got so far through it and my brain just kept freezing up, freezing up and eventually I got to the end and I just didn't know how to finish it and I was like nah, no, I'm not, that's it, I'm done next day, goes to it, straight away, come up with an ending I don't know anyway, all that's left for me now to say is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did until the next time, peace out and at least I'm not going to have to put it with you howling tomorrow morning while I'm in bed you're going to be at my parents house ha! he looks really impressed about that